Uh, welcome to the project demonstration on plant disease detection using CNN. Okay, these are the table of contents we are going to discuss. Introduction, introdu introduction to CNN, then how CNN works, uh, application of CNN in plant disease detection, the model architecture, training process and results in discussion. begin with the introduction okay so plant disease they pose a significant threats to agriculture leading to reduced crop yields and economic losses nowadays farmers are facing lot of challenges with respect to rearing the crops especially when they face diseases with respect to crop it lead to economic losses and also reduced crop yields. It has a negative impact on society as well as economy of the country. Therefore, early and accurate detection of diseases is very important to ensure food security and also help farmers uh, to reduce the losses. When it comes to these problems, we have some traditional techniques to combat these problems but they have limitations farmers have to choose a manual handling of disease detection and they need to take the help of experts to detect the disease and uh, cure them it is a time consuming and since most of the farmers live in villages the remote area from the district headquarters it takes a lot of time these are not scalable and early detection is also not possible in conventional system these are the limitations we observe in the present system then what is the solution it is better to use artificial intelligence and especially in ai it would be nice if we go with the convolutional neural networks then what is cnn these are a branch of deep learning algorithms which are used to process and analyze the visual data they find it very useful to deal with image related things that is images they are useful in image recognition object detection and image classification that's why we will use convolutional neural networks to deal with this problem so what are the key components of cnn so in cnn we have three layers convolution layers pulling layers and fully connected layers the convolutional layer helps to extract the features from input images. Pulling layer helps to reduce the dimensionality of the feature maps, retaining the essential features. And then uh, fully connected layer helps to perform classification based on the extracted features. So let me show the architecture. As the image shows, uh, convolutional layer helpful to extract the features. Pulling layer helps to reduce the dimensional reduction and fully connected layer helps to classify the images so uh, this is how a neural network is made okay how how we are going to solve with respect to plant disease detection first we will create a data set we have uh, collected the data set from Kaggle website it has various category of uh, images like uh, healthy leaves uh, leaves with the diseases with respect to tomato plant and uh, potato plant we have used this data set we have collected from uh, Kaggle and then we will divide the collected data into training and uh, validation or testing in the ratio 80 to 20 and then we will train our model uh, to learn the to learn and extract to learn based based on the features extracted and identify the diseases based on image so when it comes to training of the model it will be there will be two important steps that is forward propagation and backward propagation in forward propagation it extracts all the features and learns trains the model in backward propagation it deals with loss loss means uh, how much result uh, has error it means whether 
our model has classified accurately the disease A is classified as A or B, whether the healthy leaf is classified as a, a diseased leaf or not. In this way, the loss means whether it has predicted accurately or not. So when there is a loss, we get error. Uh, in backward propagation, our network deals with reducing the error by validating weights and bias which comes in our neural network. In forward propagation, it learns. In backward propagation, evaluate itself the kind of learning it has learned and make suitable correction if there is any error. When it comes to evaluation metrics, we have three, four things. Accuracy, precision, recall and F1 score. Accuracy stands for the percentage of correctly classified images. Precision, recall and F1 score, they evaluate the performance of the model, especially with respect to imbalanced data sets. Okay, these are the results we have obtained so far. Our model has correctly detected uh, the diseases such as tomato bacterial spot, tomato late blight, and tomato mosaic virus. So we have trained our CNN model and we were able to predict the disease accurately after giving the input image. So far we have achieved this much uh, progress in our current project. With the help of CNN, we were able to train our model and uh, predict the result accurately. Thank you.